Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. It's probably going to take a little while before anyone's watching the stream, so I'll give you guys a little intro in a second. But uh, first of all, please let me know if you can see and hear me. It's been a while since I've done a stream and I want to make sure everything's coming through well. So today we're going to try something really crazy. This is a big surprise. I didn't know I would actually have time to be able to jump on here. But I want to try to build an underwater cathedral. I'll be happy if it comes out as an underwater shack, but that is our goal, is to come down into this coral reef and build an underwater cathedral. And if nothing else, I'm going to show you guys some really cool building techniques, which I think you're going to like a lot. I'm going to show you how to use Structures Plus to make an underwater base, just like I did with the Coral Cafe, if you guys have seen that. And uh, we'll see how it comes out. But if nothing else, you guys can learn how to make the coolest underwater structures ever using Structures Plus vacuum chambers and uh, Structures Plus glass. So let me check in with you guys, see if anyone has actually seen the stream, because you know, not knowing I was going to be able to do this, I didn't actually give you guys any warning. So let me check real quick, make sure this is coming through and see if people are actually able to see this. So please let me know in the comments if you can see this, if the video is coming in well, and if you can hear my audio well. And uh, we'll get into this in just a second. So let's see here. We're just going to make sure that we're actually showing up live. It's been a while since I have done a stream, you guys, like a very long time. Okay, we've got SK Barbarian says, hello, ASG. Thank you very much for jumping in and commenting. So please let me know if you can see and hear me okay. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, great. Sounds like people can hear and see us fine, which is all we need to know for now. That's awesome. So I'm going to try to keep up with chat. You guys know I'm not all that great at keeping up with chat when I start concentrating on building. But first of all, we are in the Lost Island map. I haven't been here since like Monarchy Season 2. I have missed this map so much. I... It, I'm really torn whether my favorite map is Lost Island or Fjorder, but I'm right here in the middle of the coral reefs. And I've been looking around for the best spot that's uh, actually deep enough, and something about coral reefs, they're never very deep. They're always pretty shallow. And the reason for that is because coral actually needs sunlight to be able to live. So just like in real life, the reefs here on Lost Island are not all that deep. Hey, awesome, welcome. So we've got eHacker, Loud Bunny, SK Barbarian, and Elizabeth Fields all on the stream already. It is so good to see all of you. It's been a while. So I'm trying to pick out a spot to build our underwater cathedral or, you know, underwater base. We'll see how it comes out. And I'm thinking right here is about the deepest spot that I'm going to find. Hey, Lisa, welcome. It has been a long time. Yeah, I'm going to catch you guys up a little bit on, you know, all that's been going on in my life, too. But first of all, it's all been really good. I've just been super, super busy. And let me start by dumping all of this dye that I have. I gotta have blue hair. You gotta have blue hair, you know? Oh, well, that's awesome. It's your first time catching a live stream. Well, it's my first time streaming in a long time. So, uh, you know, bear with me on that. So the first thing I'm going to do here with our build, this is a little bit crazy right from the get go. And I might have to play with this a little bit because it's been a while since I've done this. But I'm going to start by making some vacuum chambers. Because that's always a great way to start a base, right? So I'm pulling out the Structures Plus vacuum compartment. And I'm going to kind of give you guys a little tutorial here on uh, how to do a really cool trick. So I'm going to start out by getting our S Plus vacuum chambers here. And then, oh, I need some input, you guys. Should we build this base using one-way glass so that it's like you can see out of it into all of the coral, or should we try to make this look as classic as possible and build it out of stone with windows? It's gonna be 
really cool to be able to look all around the coral reef from the inside, but it's not going to look as cool from the outside. So I'm kind of leaning towards using stone with really big glass windows, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think and what you prefer. So we'll, we'll see what people say. I'll give you guys a minute. You guys have like a minute lag before you actually see what I say anyway. So we'll see how that comes in. Uh, but let me start with stone. Actually, I was, I was originally, well, tell you what, we'll start with glass foundations because glass foundations we can actually hide afterwards if we want to. So we could make it look like this whole thing is floating. And I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be leveling up like crazy because I had to wipe out the world and uh, start over. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start our foundations and we've gotta do something really tricky and weird to do this. So we are going to line up on as flat a space as we can. I'm gonna to try to get to where this rock is not gonna be in the way of our buildings. So I want this to be kind of sticking out over here because I do wanna build in this area. So I think, yeah, I think we're gonna build where we're high enough over this rock and we'll probably have this poking out pretty far out of the, uh, out of the out of the ocean, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to get this set up where I've got a foundation sticking out of the ground, and we're gonna try to get the foundation to where it's just above the rock. Using Structures Plus mod, we can actually snap foundations above and, and right on top of each other. So hopefully this will be just enough to clear the rock. It might stick out of the bottom just a little bit, but if we build at this level, we should be in pretty good shape. And now I'm gonna do something really weird, and I'm going to place this we need to get this vacuum chamber. And is this actually straight? That's that's pretty straight. It's gonna be a, yeah, it's gonna work out okay. So we're gonna get this vacuum chamber so it's sticking just above one of the foundations. So I want this to be at the level where the foundation just barely sticks out from the, the vacuum chamber. And I'm moving it around just so I can get this right about the right spot. Let's see if this looks pretty good. Okay, so we want the level of the foundation to be just above the vacuum chamber. And that's pretty uneven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one more time. You guys will start to see what we're doing in just a second, but I'm gonna try to get this to where it's pretty lined up and just barely higher. And then, yeah, that's perfect. So you can see right there. So we've just got just a little bit of the foundation sticking through and then we've got the vacuum chamber right underneath it. And this is gonna look crazy for a minute, but then it's all going to make sense. So I'm enclosing the foundation inside the vacuum chamber. And then if I go up here, I can hold to open the portal. And I'm just gonna open that up and we're gonna open all sides. And check this out, you guys. Once we've got the portholes open, you can see straight out into the water but look how beautiful that is, right? So now we have a clear view of the coral reef. We've got air that we can breathe and walk around in and we can see everything. We're technically inside a vacuum chamber this whole time, but we're able to have our entire structure in that. So we're basically building a, chamber, a, a base of vacuum chambers around our actual base. So it's a weird setup but as long as we're using structures plus vacuum chambers, we can make the entire vacuum chamber disappear. So right now I'm on top of a vacuum chamber. I can jump in and out of it and swim right into the air just like that. So pretty crazy, right? We can actually make this part disappear too. Let me see here. I've got to get to just the right spot. Now this does get really tricky opening and closing these things. Like I spent a lot of time on this first bit just trying to make everything make sense. So we'll probably be fiddling around with stuff quite a bit, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with it and uh, we'll make it look really cool by the time we're done. So let's just see if I can get this from underneath. Sometimes if you can't open it from the top, you can just open it underneath and it'll still work okay. So there we go. And we've got our foundation, but we can actually make that invisible using the Structures Plus gun. So we'll work on that in a second. But let's see here. I'm gonna actually make some stone ceilings. And uh, let me check chat actually and see if you guys, cause I haven't seen anybody comment in chat for a minute. So I'm gonna just see if everything's still working here. 
I'm gonna reload. Sometimes chat just gets stuck for me, especially if I'm streaming at the same time. So, uh, you know, let me check this. I've had this happen before where chat has not worked and I've had to actually pull it up on my phone in order to get it to work. So let's just see if this is gonna work. Okay, I do show that I'm live on my phone. Let's see if I can see the chat. Yep, okay, now I can see chat. So please give me a comment in chat if you guys can hear me all right still. And uh, we'll keep going. So um, from here, I'm actually going to build out some ceilings. And the weird thing about this is, uh, and I, I think I'll go ahead and start with stone. I'll let you guys comment if you want something other than stone. But we'll start out with that. All right, so. I'm actually going to be able to place a stone ceiling. You can snap them right onto the vacuum chambers, but you can also snap them onto the foundation. But here's the crazy part about this setup. So you can only snap ceilings so far out, right? But since we're underwater, and since for whatever reason, if everything snaps so close where it's just barely sticking out of these vacuum chambers, we can actually put another vacuum chamber underneath it and as long as it's just about touching that vacuum chamber, the vacuum chamber actually provides structural support so that we can keep on building. Oh, of course, it's not working this time. Yeah, gotta love that. All right, let's try this. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can snap this a little further over here. Oh, that's why it's actually snapping to the ceilings and not the vacuum chambers. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up. Okay, great. So you guys are still here. Yeah, and I'll, I'll catch you guys up a little bit on my channel and everything, too, because it's been a while since I've posted anything. And uh, let me just get this set up a little bit. We'll see if we can get this to actually snap properly now. There we go. Check it out. So now that the uh, vacuum chambers are providing structural support, we can just keep building that out, which is kind of crazy, but it's pretty handy. All right, so... I'm gonna go ahead and replace this foundation with stone, and then we'll uh, we'll start making this actually make some sense in a second. So just bear with me. I know you guys trust me, but this is gonna look uh, it's gonna look like a total mess for quite a while. So let's go ahead and replace that with stone. I just I just feel like making this look a little bit classical, but we'll make some nice windows with views for the coral reef. So I think I'm gonna make this like the left edge of our cathedral. We'll build it out in this direction. I usually don't end up making things out of, uh, I, I don't usually end up making things out of stone. And I don't usually make things square anymore because I really enjoy doing cool like hexagonal 12 sided builds and all of that stuff. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go with the classic look. And I'm going to build this out. I'm going to make this the far left edge. And we'll kind of try to get a nice structure going from here. But I want to get a good feel for like how much, how much space we've got, how far out we can actually build this thing. So we'll keep working on that. And I'll kind of catch you guys up a little bit on, you know, what's been going on with my life and my channel and all of that stuff. So it's, it's been a while since I've done a live stream. I was uh, in the middle of season three of the monarchy and uh, I actually got a really, really good new job offer. Like one of my best friends when I was a really little kid actually is the owner of a really big and really good tree company in town. And uh, he called me up one day and said, hey, like, I no longer have an office manager. I could really use your help and you're going to be really good at that. So he offered me a really good job um, with a really good company. And it's uh, it's it's been amazing. Like, it's it's a huge opportunity. It was a huge, huge improvement um, with my salary and it was really just too good to turn down, which, you know, I, I actually really loved my job that I was working as a web designer before that. I really didn't have any intention of leaving that, but, you know, it was just one of those times it was just such a good job offer. I really couldn't turn it down, you know? So when I talked to my old boss, he said, you know, I am really sorry to see you, you know, move on to something else, but I'm really happy for you. And honestly, I, I can't even like argue with that. That's such a good, that's such a good offer. Like you just really can't turn that down. So that was really great. 
and is it's it's actually going really well but it is very busy there's a lot to do and we had a lot of systems that i put in place to make things run smoother in the office and just kind of in general improve everything so there was a lot to catch up on a lot to do and uh you know i put together a whole bunch of new systems for everything so the job transition was really busy and i was already really swamped with everything else and this was like starting just towards the end of the holiday days too so there was just a lot a lot going on a lot to do and I just really wasn't able to keep up with the arc stuff which was a real bummer because I really miss the monarchy like especially now that I'm seeing season four and everybody's having so much fun with it and like everything I would I just I really miss playing with everybody I really do and uh, but you know it was it was just one of those situations where there just really wasn't uh, wasn't going to be any time for me to be able to to keep up with it as much as I wanted to you know and when I do something I really want to do a really good job of it and I don't want to just you know give half effort so I let the monarchs know that I wouldn't be able to jump in for season four but. I am really hoping I can catch up enough soon to be able to uh, rejoin the Monarchs at some point later, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, every uh, everything's going really well, all things considered. I've just been really busy, and I am sorry I haven't been able to communicate with you guys better and keep you up to date with all of that, but, uh, but I wanted to at least let you guys know, oh, thank you, I really appreciate that. Oh, thanks, you guys. I mean, I really miss, I really miss this. I really miss live streaming with all of you. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it's been, uh, you know, I've been, I've been working full time the whole time I've had my YouTube channel. And so it's, uh, it's hard to juggle, you know, doing full time job and doing everything else. And I, I volunteer with youth at my church. So that's, uh, you know, keeps me pretty busy during the evenings and a lot of times and so there's just there's a lot of stuff that uh you know it's been it's just been a lot to juggle but i am definitely hoping to get back into arc get back into live streams i have caught up a lot with the work that i've been doing and i've gotten to the point where uh you know, I should actually be able to have a lot more time streaming with you guys. So keep an eye out. I'm actually thinking maybe Wednesdays might be viable to be able to, uh, you know, try to get a regular live stream series going. And I would love to, uh, I'd love to just do some more Let's Builds too. I've, I've realized building live is just really fun. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, it seems like a lot of you guys have actually enjoyed doing my live streams where I'm just building too, because I get to just sort of hang out with you guys and talk to you. And it's a, a whole lot harder to just chat with the community when I'm getting chased by dinosaurs that want to eat me, you know? It's just, you, 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 there's something about getting chased down by a, a T-Rex that just makes you really have to focus, you know? So that's been... Uh, it's actually been really cool to just get to do some building and hang out with you guys, you know? So keep me posted in the comments what you guys would like to do, if you guys have any suggestions for this. So I'm doing a long stretch to the side to kind of measure out how much space we've got around here. And then we'll start making it longer, you know, towards front and back too. But I want to start by kind of getting a feel for how big we can make this, and then we'll start expanding after this. And it's going to start looking like something, hopefully soon. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, how's everybody doing? I I uh, haven't caught up with all of you for a long time, but I'd love to hear how everybody else is doing in uh, in your lives too. Like, what's new? It's it's uh, definitely been a while since we've caught up. We'll see if, uh, you know, like Captain Fat Dog jumps in the stream, because I'm, I'm sure that this being slightly off is going to drive him crazy if he sees this. You can see the, the lines just aren't quite straight. Yep. But actually, the entire blue stuff is going to be completely invisible by the time we're done. So, you know, looking at this, I'm realizing I should probably get like a foundation support, too, because, uh, you know, it's a good idea to not have everything just supported by one foundation. Because then if you accidentally demolish that, the entire structure just disappears. So there we go. That's just a backup foundation. But isn't that crazy? Like technically, none of this is touching the ground because the uh, vacuum chambers give it all the support. 
<laughs> yeah, it's bugging you too. It will go away, don't worry. We'll make all of that uh, disappear. So I'm probably going to use the vacuum chambers for supporting the bottom, and then we will build the structure, and then we'll add some vacuum chambers on top, see how things look. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's see about how big this is. So we're looking at like, it's gonna be real hard to find the middle at this point, but uh, I, I guess I should have been counting how many squares I was putting down. That would have been real smart, wouldn't it? So, uh, but let me get a good, let me get an idea real quick and I'm, I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a second. But yeah, let me know how you guys are doing tonight. What's, what's new with all of you? And uh, are you guys excited about Ark Ascended, which is supposed to be coming out pretty soon? I am already trying to uh, get stuff together to be able to um, get my PC upgraded. So I'll be ready to do Ark Survival Ascended whenever I get a chance. And uh, hopefully that's going to be coming out soon. Have you guys been keeping up with the news on it? It's uh, it's it looks amazing. Unreal Engine 5 is completely unreal. It's ridiculous how good everything's going to look on Unreal Engine 5. And I just, I cannot wait. All right. So I want this to have like, let's see. You know, OK, maybe I should start by doing this. Let's do some uh, some large gateways. And I'm gonna start plotting out some ideas for how this can look. We'll just we're just we're just coming up with this as we go. We're just getting creative. We'll see how it all goes, you know? It's uh it's like Bob Ross says. It's your world, it can be whatever you want, you know? So we're just gonna have some fun with this. We'll see how it develops. We'll uh, I've I've got a general idea of how I want this to look, but you know, we'll we'll work on it from there. Okay, so I wanna have a big window. And then another big window here. And we're going to set up glass in between. And I want to have a little bit of, yeah, we'll have like a corner there. And then another corner here. OK, that's that's going to look OK there. I still haven't entirely decided how big this is going to get, but we'll we'll work with this and we'll see how it goes from here. By the way, I'm not even sure how long I'm gonna be able to stay online, but I'm gonna try to hang in here as long as possible because uh, I really miss hanging out with you guys. <laughs> I really do. And um, you know, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully my voice will hang out, will we'll last for a while. Oh my gosh, Sabo, so long time. Man, it is good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, I, I have really missed all of you guys and it's it's, Good to catch up, wow. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. How was the uh, Transformers movie? Man, I remember uh, I remember being a kid and playing with Transformers Beast Wars. That was so fun. Hey, Terry, welcome. I have missed making videos for you guys. I wanted to get back streaming as fast as possible, and this is like the first day that I've had a chance. I've finally caught up enough on so many things. Um, yeah, there's just been so many things to do. It's been crazy, but we've got everything pretty well sorted out. Um, and yeah, I, I've uh, for for those of you just joining, I have uh, gotten a new job and it's going really well. It's really good. It was a very, very good opportunity. And uh, but yeah, that's made my my schedule really crazy. It's made it really hard to uh, you know work out times to stream and you know when you guys are all available times to do everything else so still working on uh trying to stream more but we're uh we're making good progress and i think i've finally got to the point where i should be available like pretty often i mean i would love to get to where i'm streaming every week and that is my goal so we'll see how it goes but all right let's see here thinking two windows this way, two windows this way. We're gonna hopefully have this start to make a little bit of sense. It's amazing how these builds just make no sense whatsoever for a very long time, and then things start to make a little bit of sense, hopefully. 
So yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got the sides a little bit. Now most classic cathedrals, it's actually kind of cool. You don't even think about this when you see them from the front, but most classic cathedrals are actually structured in such a way that the building itself makes the shape of a cross, which is a really big uh, historic symbol in Christianity. So it's there's a lot of really cool symbolism that goes into historic cathedrals and structures that they build. And uh, so we're gonna try to kind of make this relatively classic looking, even though it is in a coral reef underwater, you know, cause that's, uh, that's very classic. Classic, but hey, I mean, maybe this was a, maybe this was an ancient cathedral that got, uh, you know, sunk into a coral reef. It's your world. It could be whatever you want, right? Uh, okay, how many people here like Bob Ross? I mean, I'm, I, I love Bob Ross. I love quoting him. He was the famous painter with an afro, but uh, I mean, hopefully people know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you're just gonna look at me weird, right? <laughs> Let's see here. This is trying to snap to the wrong thing. You guys ever noticed how stuff always tries to snap to the wrong thing? By the way, one of the reasons, yeah, that was, to oh yeah, this, this, this is so wrong, you guys, so wrong. Don't even, what? Why is this not letting me pick it up? Okay, well, have it your way. You're just getting demolished then. That's, that's uh, you know, try not, yeah, if there's a fresh one for you if you mouth off again. All right, there we go. That should be what we're looking for right there. So if you guys don't know this, when you're building, you can um, hit the Q key on the keyboard, which will actually make everything jump and snap back to the right, uh, the right place. Okay, so we want this to be two of these wide. Let me actually make sure this is the right size here. I'll catch up with you guys in a second with chat. But okay, so that's gonna be one over space and I'm just going to place these to make sure this is the right size. Okay, let's see. Hmm. That might end up bothering me in the end. <laughs> I should have measured this before I did this. Okay, let's see here. So I want this to have one space and this has got two. So I need to make this either a little shorter or a little longer. Or I could just get over it and we'll make the front look different. Hmm. This is a tough decision, right? I think I think we'll just, uh, wow, this really doesn't want to let me pick anything up, does it? So if I didn't have, um, if I didn't have GCM mode, I would be so overweight, it's not even funny right now. Oh, wow, you haven't played Ark in a year? That's, that's a lot, man. Well, I will say Ark Survival Ascended is gonna be pretty crazy and I am definitely looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty worth checking out once it's ready. It's gonna be on Unreal Engine 5, which is just insane. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, so we could have this just be kind of like this. And I guess that works. Or we could just have the front go straight out to the sides. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I think we'll I think we'll keep going with this. I don't. I I do actually want to be able to get enough of this built that it's gonna look like something by the time we're done with the stream. So I don't want to be too perfectionistic. You know, it's like you want to uh, you want to do things well, but you don't want to be so picky about everything that you can't actually complete anything. That is like the biggest dilemma with uh, you know any kind of art and uh, and creative stuff. You know, so. Yeah, Bob was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, snap points are crazy. Like, they are just always such a challenge to work with. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear my cat. My cat has just decided that she wants to come into the room, and she's not taking no for an answer, so she's just sitting there going, Mo. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to be live streaming. <laughs> Poor cat. All right, so we're going to keep going with these structure supports. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not usually on this late, and I actually didn't realize exactly how late it is, but, you know, this was the one chance I got for, you know, the late... For, it, it, it's the first time I've had a chance in a while to be able to stream, so I did not want to miss this opportunity. So I'm probably going to keep going for another, like, hopefully hour. We'll see. Um, I'll let you guys know. I will have to go at some point. 
but I'm gonna try to hang in here and at least get a decent amount built while we're here. So we'll see how much we can do. All right, so this was gonna be, I'm gonna try to make this similar to the other sides. <laughs> if something is not perfect for you, you demo it. I understand that, yep. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, this is definitely going to bother a lot of perfectionists out there because uh, it's going to look really wonky with the uh, the blue vacuum chambers underneath the stone for for a while. It's going to be a while before it starts looking right. So sorry about that. It's it's uh, you know kind of like when I just dive out of the sky while I'm playing and I'm like I hope nobody's afraid of heights and gets sick when they uh, you know hopefully nobody gets vertigo but. At least uh, it's a very safe environment, you know? So, <laughs> by the way, how is the stream quality coming in? I've, I've adjusted a couple of settings, which should hopefully help that a little bit, but it has been a while since I've played and like everything has had multiple updates since I've played last. And sometimes that can really mess with everything. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. All right. I tell you what, this goes a lot faster in creative mode when you don't have to, like, actually build everything that you do. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we're going to try to do that here. Do another one up here. I'm trying to get a feel for how big this needs to be. Oh, hopefully we don't run into that rock. That would be a, that would be a pain. But once again, we're, we're doing the uh, get mo approach. Good enough to move on, right? All right. I think this is going to look pretty cool in the end, you know, just just bear with me for a bit. I've actually got Eco's RP Garden mod installed. I made sure I had it for this session because you can make stained glass out of Eco's RP Garden mod, which is pretty cool to work with. Yeah, okay, great. Yep, my uh, my computer is only capable of uh, of 1080 mode right now. But I will say, okay, so I, I probably shouldn't admit this on the air, but I have been using an inv I have a six year old Alienware laptop. Six years. Your average life expectancy for a laptop is five to six years. So it's doing very well to still be running right now, let alone, you know, playing Arc at relatively high settings and streaming at the same time. So, you know, at this point, I'm just, uh, I'm very impressed with it for, uh, for still doing as well as it is. But I am planning to upgrade in the very near future, especially with, uh, you know, Ark Survival Ascended coming out. So there's no way that my current laptop running an NVIDIA 1060 can, can run um, Ark Survival Ascended. Okay, so this is not going to be quite built to code. We are... Uh, we're running into the rocks. That's okay. We'll we'll be all right with that. But uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, we'll see if this at least looks okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're doing this a little differently on the front here. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way to the edge, and okay, how was I gonna do this? Let's see. I think I will put one in the very middle here. There's always so many decisions to make with Ark, you know? We're gonna make some big decisions. I just really do feel like we're, we're Bob Ross over here, you know? It's your cathedral, it can be whatever you want. All right, there we go. I really wish the water looked clearer. It's a, uh, I wish there was a way, like, I'm sure there's a mod that can make the water clearer. But let's at least make it daytime. That's going to make a big difference. OK, so we've got some of the windows kind of coming together, right? And let's put that one here. And then we're going to do stone around the corners. And we're going to have glass through the windows so you can see out into the coral reef. So let me know in the comments, you guys. Do you want me to finish? I, I should probably finish the basic structure first. Let's see if this is about even. Yep, so that's about the same up there. Looks looks decent. <laughs> this looks a mess. We'll, we'll fix that in a minute. 
And then we'll build this out a little bit this way and we'll keep going with it, so. But pretty soon I can start setting up vacuum chambers so we can actually see what it's gonna look like on the inside. And uh, I think you guys are gonna like it. It's gonna look really cool once we can actually see out into the coral reef. You know, actually, let me do this. Let me do this. We're gonna do one so we can look out. So for those of you just joining us, I'm using Structures Plus Vacuum Chambers. And with those, when you open the porthole, it completely removes the vacuum chamber. And with it, it removes the water effects. So when we're standing in an empty S plus vacuum chamber, you can see everything in full quality with all the color. Does this look amazing or what? This is what we're missing because the water is so blue. I wish it was a little clearer here, but check that out. So we're gonna have our cathedral where we can look out the windows and see coral everywhere we go, which is gonna look pretty darn cool. And I'm gonna wait to put the rest of the vacuum chambers because as we'll find out later, when you have vacuum chambers in place, it is really hard to use things like the S plus gun to, uh, cause it always wants to select the vacuum chamber itself, which makes things really annoying and uh, I'm trying to get rid of these plants because these are sticking through the floor and that's kind of annoying. But these you can actually pick up. So I'm trying to leave some of them so it's got kind of a cool, you know, underwater forest look, but I just don't want them sticking through the floor. So let's see if that fixed the ones we were, we were needing to get rid of. Not a lot of cathedrals have uh, water plants in the basement, right? But we're working with it. Oh, wow, you're moving to Nebraska. That is a big move. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I you're uh, I've I've heard you're you've got a pretty good promotion too. That's pretty that's that's pretty exciting. I mean, that's awesome. Are you looking forward to it? I've never been to Nebraska. I haven't really been out west very much, honestly. Um, but it 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 looks really cool whenever I see uh you know, whenever I see like uh, uh, photos and stuff, it's a really cool area. Okay, this is gonna be annoying, so I need to get rid of this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, <laughs> seems like I'm driving half the chat crazy with my uh, vacuum chamber grid not lining up with the uh, stones. We'll fix it, I promise. That that whole grid is gonna disappear once we're done with the foundation. So it'll look better. Don't worry. We'll also be covering most of it up, so that's going to help too. Okay, um, I hope I can get to this plant under here, wedged between rocks. Um, I'm going to use ghost mode if I can't, because that's going to bother me having this sticking up through the floor. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> We're going to use a mining drill. <laughs> I guess I need some gasoline too. So um, this is the nice thing about being in creative mode, you know? It's your world. You can create whatever you want, right? Oh, this doesn't work underwater. <laughs> it seemed like such a good idea. I guess that makes sense, though. OK, OK. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll come back to this. Come on, come on. Oh. And I'm pretty sure this rock is not breakable, right? Yeah, it's not. Of course not. OK, next idea. We're gonna use ghost. Okay, can I get it now? Really? No? No good? No good? I am literally going through the ground to get rid of this plant that's bothering me. Okay. Well, I tried. I tried. <laughs> we'll work with it. Okay, well, well, we'll come back to that. I'll figure something out. Do you guys know of any underwater creatures that can harvest plants? Could spawn something in. Is this one in a rock too? Wow, okay. This is uh this is turning out to be much more challenging than expected, right? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I love Bob Ross's happy little accidents. <laughs> so okay, in Smash Brothers, right? 
you can create custom me's like you can create little uh, custom cartoon characters and I made Bob Ross and he's a fighter that uses a paintbrush and then whenever I'm beating people up with him I'm always like looks like you just had a happy little accident it's always very fun oh that's cool that's that sounds like that's gonna be a really good move for you that's awesome uh, yeah, that's that is uh, that's amazing. Double the amount of paychecks. That is a very good job transition. I'll tell you what, man, that's awesome. Well, that's definitely worth moving for for sure. That sounds like that's going to be a pretty cool adventure. All right, I'm gonna fix this real quick. So what is everybody doing in ARC right now? I know we're kind of in a weird like transition period in ARC too, because it's kind of in, uh, in the middle of between updates, right? So we've got the huge ARC Ascended update, which is gonna be basically remastering ARC in such a way that it's just gonna look incredible. Like I absolutely cannot wait to play ARC Survival Ascended. It's, I just, I can't wait. And uh, I'm, I'm working on getting a whole new PC just so I can play it, right? It's going to be crazy. But uh, up until then, what is everybody doing in ARC? And is this not snapping correctly again? Okay, we're having some issues here. It's always tough because uh, the vacuum chambers want to snap to the wrong things. I can only demolish it now. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do that. All right, so everything wants to snap to the wrong things. And we've uh, got all of these water plants that are halfway hidden in the rocks that are also making things difficult, okay. Maybe this is the problem. Oh, by the way, has anybody here played the new Legend of Zelda? My wife absolutely loves Zelda. Like, Zelda is her favorite game franchise. And uh, so we've been playing a little bit of Zelda Breath of the uh, the new Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. And that has been really cool. It's like a survival game, but you can like snap stuff together and fuse trees together to make a raft and stuff. It's it's very cool. It's like uh, it's like Zelda meets Ark, which has been really fun to play with my wife. You got a level 190 fire egg, wyvern egg on Ragnarok. That's awesome. Oh, nice. You're playing Red Dead Redemption 2, Sabo. That is such a fun game. It's, uh, it's um, you know, not, not for all ages, but it is so cool. It is definitely uh, one of my favorite games that I've played. There's just, it's so realistic. It's like a Wild West game. And it's definitely got like some survival elements to it. So, one of my favorite things I did on Red Dead Redemption is I figured out, and I love looking for glitches on stuff, right? So I figured out that if I am holding a large fish in my hand, and then I go into a cutscene, the fish stays in my hand. So, there was one scene where like we had to beat up this guy to get information out of him, and... I'm sitting there clubbing him with a fish. And there was a scene where like this lady was crying and the main character puts his arm around her to comfort her. And he puts a big fish around her shoulder. And it's just like every time I would try to like go and, and I would always catch the fish by just running my horse through a river or swamp and just running over all the fish. And then I just pick them up and it was so easy. Oh, nice, that sounds fun. You're still on the old Zelda. So Terry, which which old Zelda is that? Um, there's there's a Breath of the Wild one is totally worth playing. That one's pretty amazing too. But uh, I'm definitely loving Tears of the Kingdom. It's like everything good about Breath of the Wild one, but uh, you know, really expanded. It's like three times the size of the map. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I hate when you miss imprints. We, uh, on the Monarchy, we would always use a, a mod that actually imprints stuff for you. So, uh, Structures Plus, like, every everything about Structures Plus, there's just so many great things about it. Like, it gives you, like, when Survival uh, Ascended comes out, 
they're going to allow mods for cross-platform. So, like, if you have a PS5 or an Xbox One, or, uh, sorry, an Xbox Series X, you're going to be able to play with the same mods that we've been using on PC, including Structures Plus, and it will change your life. A shiny Luna Giant Queen Bee has emerged. What? <laughs> There is so much going on there. Okay, so I, I do have the shiny mod on, apparently, which I didn't realize. Um, but wow, a shiny Luna Queen Bee. That's a new one. I have never seen a shiny bee before. Didn't know that could happen. I, I guess it's probably in a beehive somewhere that I have to break to get it. That's interesting. Yes. Okay, so the nanny mod will imprint your creatures for you. You don't have to be there. You don't have to set a timer to log into the game every so many hours to do your imprinting because the nanny just does it. She feeds your babies and hatches them and does everything you ever wanted. I'm pretty sure the Maywing was actually inspired by the Structures Plus nanny. Okay, I fixed some of the plants in the floor. That's an improvement at least. All right, let's see how this is looking from here. Let's see. I'm gonna swim to this. Is it this one? One of these is a. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? I just can't get over it. But this is gonna look kind of cool, right? There's actually a ruin that kind of reminds me of this structure a little bit, not too far away in Lost Island. Okay. So let's see here. How does this one work? Okay, so we've got one gap there. I'm gonna try to do the same kind of pattern here. So we'll do one wall in between each window. You know, that's actually not a bad, not a bad setup right here. And I'm going to get rid of these vacuum chambers for those of you who it's driving crazy. So that's a pretty good layout for a cathedral. Maybe, maybe I'll do one more set. Yeah, I think I'll go one more set over and then we'll start. F well, actually, no, I'm going to run out of space, aren't I? maybe <laughs> we could probably fit one more set in okay so we'll do we'll do one more layer of these and then we'll stop there so that's going to come out to here and let's see how this goes you know a lot of building is just putting things down and seeing how it looks and just kind of figuring it out as you go so okay so let's see here how did i do this side all right, so we had a gap, and then we did the wall. Yep, that's. I think that's going to work pretty well, actually. All right. We might need one more set of vacuums. Yep, we do. Okay. Do these here. These are a lot easier to line up before we have the, uh, the ceilings on top of them. Okay, there's that. And then we'll put these over here. By the way, we may end up doing, like, several of these Let's Builds for this particular thing, because I, I think we're probably not going to finish everything out tonight. We'll, we'll just build what we can, but here we go. And by the way, we're going to have a lot more guides and things like that coming out in the near future, but it just takes me so much longer to edit videos than it does to do a live one. Like, I could do probably four or five live streams in the amount of time that it takes me to do one video, right, that's edited. So I'm hoping to do a lot more, like, live streams in the future and, uh, you know, be able to be able to just hang out with you guys and... Uh, but I'm also going to try to get a bunch of guides going soon in the, in the not too dear distant future. There we go. But I am definitely catching up a lot to the point where I can actually start doing this again, which I have really been missing. Oh, you're on an official server? Nice. Oh wow, this is your first time playing on an official server since 2016. That's a that's a long break. I will say like some of those official servers like especially PVP, they can burn you out fast. I actually uh, was talking to a guy in real life who uh, also played Ark, but he played official PVP and he did not play for too long because you just you burn out when people are uh, actively trying to ruin your life, you know? It just that just happens. So <laughs> a lot of people have noticed they burn out playing Ark PVP, but if you play PvE, it's it kind of gives you a new lease on life because uh 
you can you can just enjoy doing stuff without the fear of anybody wiping you out and uh, and you know stressing you out all the time. But really, I think PvP is for people who have plenty of free time to where if you get wiped out and you lose six months of work, you know, if you got enough time, you can just get back up and start again. But uh, people who don't have as much time, that that that's usually the end of arc for them. So, all right. So we got that almost squared away. Here we go. Yeah, PvP can get really toxic. Like, if, and I mean, when you think about it, like, when two people have a fight in PvP, they've both put, like, months of work into everything that they're doing. So it's like, there's a lot of real stakes for that, you know? Like, each person is going to legitimately lose, like, months worth of their work. So it's, uh,. It makes sense that it gets pretty toxic, you know? It's extremely competitive and intense, so... But, you know, I've actually... I, I never thought I would ever play PvP, but then when I joined the Monarchy, I absolutely love playing Gentleman's PvP with them. And the reason it works is because we're all dedicated to making it fun for everybody. And uh, it's not really something you can say on an official PvP server because there's just too many people, you know? You always got enough people who legitimately enjoy causing people pain that you... Uh, it's just too hard to keep everybody positive that way. But but with a small group of really awesome creators, it's just, you know, it's it's been amazing. So, And I definitely am hoping to uh, get back into the monarchy as soon as I possibly can. Okay, so we've got a pretty good structure here. Check that out. Let's see if we can see this from above. That is a pretty good layout for a cathedral, I think. And now... We could start building some walls and kind of get a feel for it. Let me know in the chat what you guys want to do. Uh, would you like me to start making some more vacuum chambers so we can see in the middle better? Or uh, do you want me to, uh, let's see here. <laughs> is, this my, is this my messed up grid on this one? I think so. Actually, it kind of helps a little bit to have the grid messed up because then we can, uh, we can tell when it snaps wrong that we're in the right place. Here we go. This is so crazy looking, isn't it? But you know, once we get these things snapped in, we can actually look around and see pretty well. So I'll try to put a few vacuum chambers so we can actually walk around a little bit in the middle. And then we'll keep on building. Okay, I'm not liking how many snap points there are. This is actually, uh, this could be a problem. This might make it a little bit difficult to see what actually has vacuum chambers and what doesn't. So we'll try to just make the whole middle here vacuum chambers. There we go. You guys can probably start to understand why the Coral Cafe took me so long to build, because uh, you're basically building two bases on top of each other that overlap, and it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of logistics to work out, but it ends up looking really cool. Okay. So let's see if we can get all of these open and have a nice view to look around inside our cathedral. All right. Well, it was great seeing you, man. And I'm really glad I caught you live, Sabo. I'm glad you caught me live. And keep an eye out because we'll be doing more Let's Builds and live streams you know, really soon, as soon as I can. I mean, actually, I'm going to try to announce it ahead of time. I didn't know I was going to have a chance to tonight, but uh, I will try to do a better job at giving you guys a heads up so we'll have more people joining us live. Let's see here. Sometimes if you can't get the porthole open from one side, you can use the other side. There we go. There's a lot of walls to open up, but... Hopefully this will look pretty cool once we're done. One of my favorite things when I was building the Coral Cafe was at sunset, you'd be able to look out and see the sunset underwater, which is kind of crazy. I can't tell if that's what's happening right now, but it might be. <laughs> yeah, the PvP on the Monarchy server is amazing. Oh, oh, you know what's happening? It's raining underwater. So we are... Inside, indoors, underwater, and it's raining on my head. Okay, you know, that, 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 that happens. This is Ark. <laughs> there we 
we go. Okay. So this one is being a little difficult. Okay, great. Yeah, if it doesn't work from one side, a lot of times you can just go to the other side and that'll actually open up for you. There we go. Almost got the end tide. There we go. Cool. I think I'll leave the top there so I can actually see where these are and where I need to add more. Okay. I'm going to set the time of day. There we go. That should help a little bit. Check that out. Is that cool or what? <laughs> I just, I love this design. I love being able to build underwater using vacuum chambers. That's just so fun. Okay, so let's actually put some walls on here and see how it looks. Yeah, only in art does it rain underwater in a coral reef. Well, what do you say we get some walls, you guys? And uh, I think... So we could put stained glass, right? We could make these all stained glass windows. But I think I'd actually really like to be able to see the coral because the coral is like natural stained glass, you know? It just looks amazing, doesn't it? So colorful and so cool looking. So I think, I think we're gonna make all of these glass windows and then we'll put stone around them and see how that looks. We'll try on one side, just see what we think. And if you guys have any input when you're seeing all this, just let me know. You know, I want to want to try to make this look cool and make it something you guys all get to participate in and, and enjoy. So, all right, let's get some S plus glass. This is actually, I think, my favorite material to work with in all of Arc, and it's not even official, but it's so cool because uh, with structures plus glass, you can make it transparent. You can do all kinds of cool effects with it. Here we go. Another nice thing about Structures Plus is it actually has that arrow that shows you which direction you're uh, placing this, which is super helpful, you know? Here we go. I'm gonna see if we like the effect. I, I hate having to close in a coral reef, but you know, it's, it's still gonna look cool. Maybe uh, I'll have to do another Let's Build sometime and do one of those really cool underwater restaurants like the ones you see in Dubai. That'd be pretty awesome, right? All right, so with this, I don't really need to fill these in just yet when I think about it because we'll make them transparent glass so they'll look basically the same. So I think I'm just gonna start filling in some more walls. Here we go. So let me know in the comments, does anybody here use um, use Structures Plus when you're playing? Because if you do, you can actually do this on any server that's got the Structures Plus mod. Okay, yeah, I actually kind of like that. We've got these nice big open windows that go right out into the coral reef. That's a pretty cool effect. I think I'll do that all the way around. Let me know what you guys think, though. I, I uh, want to defer to what you guys like, but... I think I'm gonna go with that for now. Yeah. It's so nice uh, being in creative mode for a change. I've done so much building in uh, actual regular gameplay mode where I had to go back and get some more materials when I'd run out or, uh, you know, carry around a couple hundred walls and then have to run all the way back home and craft a whole bunch more when I run out. So, so much easier when you can just make them appear instantly for you. Oh yeah, when you're playing single player on Steam, you do this, that's awesome. Yeah, I love building with Structures Plus. I really can't wait until all the consoles can get that. Like that's, those of you who don't have access to Structures Plus, just wait, you're gonna love it. It's, it's so fun. The only thing I don't like though, is there's a lot of really cool tricks you can do with all the wonky snap points on official structures that you can't do with Structures Plus. So like you watch uh, like Captain Fat Dog's videos and he does all of these ridiculously complex and cool builds and you know, like a dome or uh, you know, just all kinds of really interesting stuff and you can't do any of that with structures plus because it actually just only snaps to the place that you want it to but that means you can't trick it into doing all kinds of other really cool stuff so it's, it's a trade-off you know there we go 
yeah, who here? Um, I'm actually curious how many of you guys have a, a console that can do Ark Survival Ascended, because a lot of people are going to be, you know, continuing to play regular Ark for a long time. But, uh, you know, in order to play Survival Ascended, you're gonna need a pretty beefy computer, like with a, with a real good graphics card, or a uh, next-gen console, like a PS5 or Xbox Series X. So that's, I'm wondering what that's gonna do to the ARC player base, because, you know, a lot of people are gonna either have to upgrade or, you know, just continue playing the original ARC, which will still be great, you know? ARC is always gonna be fun, and it's never really gonna stop, but... I really can't wait to be able to stream for you guys in 4K. Like, imagine how amazing this is gonna look on Unreal Engine 5 when we're building in a coral reef. That's, I, I just can't wait for that. That's gonna be so cool. All right, let's see here. So the good news is that obnoxious grid that you guys hate is mostly covered up. I kind of like how this structure is looking here, you know? We've got, we've got a good base, we've got a good, some good texture on the walls. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you pretty happy with how this is starting to shape up on the first story? And uh, do you want me to start getting rid of those awful vacuum chambers? Get some more in here so we can actually walk around throughout the whole thing? Or, uh, you know, do you want to start building a second story so we can do all of those things? Hey, Gavin, welcome. Okay, so there's a guy on Red Dead Redemption, and he always, you, you see him in like every city, and he's walking around saying, has anyone seen Gavin? Because he's got like this friend Gavin he's always looking for, so found Gavin, all right. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to do the first story all open like this, right? Like, so we'll have glass windows on the, like, clear glass, so we can see all the coral reefs walking around. But I'm thinking maybe the second story, we start adding some stained glass. What do you guys think? I, uh, I would be up for that. I'm going to try to make everything pretty open. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to make everything pretty open so we can see, you know, throughout the entire area. But let's let's try this. Let's let's see how this looks. I'm gonna try doing some interesting textures and steps on the on the ceilings and stuff. So we'll we'll play around with it a little bit. We'll try some stained glass windows on the front. What do you guys think? All right. So I think I'm gonna try this. Cause like some cathedrals have some real interesting uh, interesting designs and textures, and they uh kind of have tiers to them. But then sometimes they've just got like a really flat face on the front too. We could try some different things, but a lot of times there's a real cool stained glass window in the front. So I actually met, in real life, I met a stained glass window artist. And he was a really cool guy, but he would build these incredible stained glass windows on like churches and cathedrals and stuff. And he would make like, you know, a 50 foot high stained glass. And it's basically like a painting using clear glass. And it just, it looks amazing. I don't know if you guys are that familiar with stained glass, but like if you look up on Google and look up some of the cathedrals with the stained glass designs they have, it looks so cool. It is just amazing to see. All right, so I'm thinking we kind of make it step up a little bit like that make it a little narrower on top and then we we add some stained glass so you know okay let's let's go ahead and make a stained glass thing so i think we need to do eco's garden mod here we go if you're not familiar with eco's mods there's some really cool stuff you can do with these we're just gonna be annoying and drive people crazy and just put a tree in the middle of our in the middle of our cathedral, because that's a great idea, right? So this is actually the Eco's crafting station. And let's see here. We're going to go into structures and stained glass. And now we've got some stained glass walls. There we go. Great. I actually cannot make these using admin stuff, so we're just going to have to uh, actually get the materials and throw them in there. So... I was just talking about how much I missed being able to go into creative mode and not have to do this, but hey, here we are. Okay, 
So let's put some of these up top and just see how this looks. We can change stuff if we don't like it, but we'll just we'll just see what this looks like and we'll take it from there. All right. I don't know how that's going to end up, but we'll see. And we could uh, we could make it clear on part of it. We could make stained glass in the middle. I mean, we'll try we'll try some different stuff. Once again, we're not going for perfect. We're just going for pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll play around with that later. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna probably take a couple of live streams before this starts looking pretty good. So we'll see. But yeah, I do kind of like that. Um, you know, kind of stepping up a little bit. I wish it could be more open, but I think it'll still have a relatively open feel. And uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, nice. So you're on PS5. Will you be uh, planning to get Ark Survival Ascended when it comes out? I was actually really amazed at the price because they uh, were originally going to have it be more expensive and then they decided after a lot of people in the community commented, they decided to change the price and make it a lot more affordable, which is pretty amazing considering how much work is going into Survival Ascended, you know? Hey, Chris, welcome. Glad to have more people jumping into the stream. I realize it's actually pretty late and uh, my voice is getting pretty tired, so I don't know how much longer I can hang in here, but I will try my best and be able to at least say hi to a bunch of you that I haven't gotten a chance to say hi to. So let's see here. Now, in order to snap a structures plus gate, they actually snap, uh, unlike a lot of, uh, unlike the vanilla ones. In order to snap that, we have to have a ceiling in front of and behind it, and then it snaps onto the middle. So here we go. We might end up replacing the inner ones with glass, though, because structures plus glass, you can make it completely invisible, which is a really nice feature. OK, let's see here. go and let's see how this lines up over here I kind of like how this is gonna be like staggering a little bit so it's a little it's a little different on the middle although I feel like maybe I should move it one more over let's let's try something a little different I'm gonna try to put this in the middle of the other one <laughs> Not quite sure if you're gonna get Ark Survival Ascended. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what people decide to do on that. Hey, thanks so much for joining. I'm real glad we got to hang out for a little bit. You know, that's great. It's good to see you here. And you know, I had to take a break from one season of Monarchy because my work was just too uh, just had way too much work going on to be able to keep up with it. I really wanted to continue on season four but there was just really no way I was going to be able to with my new job schedule but now that I'm catching up a bit I am actually hoping to rejoin the monarchy relatively soon once they get into another season which uh hopefully won't be too long so keep an eye out for that I uh, will keep you guys posted but I'm definitely I definitely haven't left the monarchy. I just had to sit out a season, kind of like Terrifier, you know, took a season off last time. And he's back in it again now. And I'm hoping to do the same thing where I'm not gone for too long, so. And our seasons are a lot shorter now, so, you know, that's actually a big part of it. But I am hoping that we'll be able to get to do quite a bit with Ark Survival Ascended too. So keep an eye out. We'll, uh, we'll let you guys know when we know more. Yeah, yeah, stained glass in churches is really cool. Like it's uh it's amazing when you think about it cuz like they they had stained glass in cathedrals like hundreds of years ago and it was like just the most incredibly difficult and intricate art piece that you could get, but it was so cool looking. All right, what do you think? It's a, it's a little less open than I would like, so I think I'm going to change this layer of, of uh, stone ceilings to glass ceilings, but I don't know, it's got kind of a cool feel to it. It's got a little bit of a arching structure, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's not quite flat, which is, which is cool. So I'm kind of liking that, but let me know what you guys think. 
I'm, uh, I'm definitely open to hearing suggestions. <clears throat> and I think I might make it kind of go step up on this side, too. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we're looking forward to, uh, looking forward to doing more videos for you guys. And, uh, I always, I, I gotta say, like, I, I did not ever expect my channel to take off the way it has, but in spite of, you know, so, so much in real life going on and what a challenge it is to keep up with a channel while, you know, working full time, it's always been worth it because you guys have just been so supportive and it's just really meant so much to me when I'm able to hop on and look at the comments and even though I don't always have time to respond to all of them it just it really makes such a difference when I see what kind of support you guys give so really want to just say thank you all for being here especially the ones that are currently in chat that you know are so good at keeping an eye on this channel that you saw this stream even though I haven't streamed in such a long time so you know it really means a lot that you guys are all here especially the ones that are here live and hopefully some people will come in and watch watch this later but uh you know it's just this I'll, I'll post this uh and la leave it up for anyone who wants to uh jump in and at least you know hear a little bit about how things are going in life and you know it's it's really all been such good transitions with my job and everything and i'm really really grateful for my new job i hope you guys know that so uh and you know now now that we're catching up a lot on things it's going to be a lot easier to keep up with the uh youtube too yeah, I think you're right. I think opening up this this back, uh, you know, I think I will just go ahead and all of my uh, all of my additional stuff. We'll just use glass. I, th I think we know well enough that we want to use glass ceilings instead of stone for this. So we'll just we'll just jump right in and do that. All right, we don't need any more foundations. Let's start replacing this. We'll open it up already. And we're getting some wood, which we need to make more stained glass, so that's actually very helpful. So in uh, creative mode, one of the fastest ways you can create resources is to just uh, start demolishing stuff really fast over and over again. And uh, you get tons of resources, so we're probably going to have all the wood that we need by the time we're done with this. And then I'll just have to spawn in some crystal. Here we go. Hey, opossums and ospreys, welcome. Glad to have you joining us, yeah. I wish I could stay longer, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm probably going to have to hop off in the next like 10, 20 minutes and I'm, my voice is actually getting very tired, honestly, so I probably should hop off soon. So I'll try to get this layer and then uh, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up for the night. So we'll, we'll actually change this glass so it's completely invisible. We'll uh, get rid of a lot of this, uh, you know, stuff in the middle that's looking weird. And it's going to look a whole lot better by the time we're done. But let's see here. So we'll have to do one layer in stone. And then the next layer is going to be glass. We'll see how that looks. I do love that in S+, Plus you can actually put... The, uh, you can snap the gateways on top of ceilings, and then you can snap ceilings on top of gateways. And that, that makes all the difference right there, because it is such a pain when you can't put ceilings on a gateway, you know? I love that about S+. Okay, I'm just hitting all the wrong things here. There we go. Okay. Does anybody ever like build like this where you just like you get into the flow of it and you're just placing everything really fast and it feels like when you're uh, when you're cutting wrapping paper and the scissors just kind of start to glide all the way down. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's like once you actually know where everything's going to go and you get the good line of, of uh, blocks, you can just go for it, you know? And it always goes so much faster. It's like, for me, the first foundation, even just laying the first couple foundations, usually takes like 10 times as long as like building all the walls and stuff. Because a lot of it is just figuring out how you want it to look, what you want it to do. It's always harder to be creative. Oh, create a pillar coming down from the second level gates. That is a very good question. I'm not sure if you can. 
But that would be a good idea. I can see if I can do something like that. If nothing else, I might be able to make it look like that. So I'll, I'll try some stuff, yeah. Once I get the whole thing built, I'm going to start working on some of the finishing touches and, you know, make everything look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And then, of course, we'll take all the water out from the middle, and then we'll have our full cathedral that we can walk around in inside. Although, let me know in the chat what you guys think. Um, we could leave the entire second floor as water, so we can swim in the ceiling because, uh, I mean, I don't know. Any church that's got a swimming pool in the ceiling is pretty cool, right? You know? I like that idea a lot. And I love when you, uh, when you do this, if you leave some of the vacuum chambers, like with water in, in the second floor, you could swim around in the ceiling. I did that on the Coral Cafe and I just, I love doing that. <laughs> so, okay. So now we got our glass all the way around and we can start figuring out how this is gonna look here. Not that, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, that's great. Okay, so this one, I don't know. I don't really wanna make these stick up like this. Thinking maybe, hmm, this is a tough one. Maybe we can do that here. Well, let's start with this. Okay, so we want to get this dropping in that way. We can do that. That looks pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Okay, and then we'll put this one this way. Maybe you have to just double these up. I like giving them a little space in between, but... Well, hmm. Now I have to really think about this one. I like making things nice and symmetrical and even, so it always really bothers me when something's sticking out one side or the other, right? But this... this might be a little difficult to make it line up properly. Hmm. I could do two in a row, but... Huh. Yeah, this is a tough one, isn't it, guys? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do two right next to each other. Or we could just keep the same structure. Let's just do that. Here we go. That actually does not look bad, I think. I think I'm just going to go with that, because the way it sits, it's going to be pretty uneven both ways. So I think I think we'll just stick with that. But this looks pretty good. We can, we can keep that. Okay. Okay, we got this. And there. Not too bad, I think. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I kind of like the feel of that, yeah? Gives you a little bit of a... You can, you can feel there's some structure, there's some texture to it, but it's not... Uh, actually lines up pretty nicely. All right. <laughs> Well, thank you. I uh, it's it's actually really funny because I remember I would always watch like the big builders like Aaron Longstaff and Captain Fat Dog and Fire Pumpkin and you know all the architects and just kind of look at their builds in awe and just think, man, I could never build something that cool, right? <laughs> but I've just been making myself do it. I've just been trying it and just kind of putting it out there, you know. And it's like. The more I do that, the more I think I'm, I'm learning how to be creative, you know? And it's like this, there's a lot of that in life where you just, you look at somebody doing something, they're so good at it, and you're just like, man, I could never do that. But probably those people at some point looked at somebody that was really good at it and thought, maybe I can do that, right? And it's the people that try and learn and just keep pushing through it, even if it feels uncomfortable or if they haven't really, uh, you know, if they don't really feel like they're that good at it, but they push past that self-confidence or that self-consciousness and, um, you know, eventually get to the point where they just get comfortable trying and failing over and over again until they get really good at it. So that's, that's really a part of a lot of things in life and a part of learning. So, so yeah, that's part of what we're doing here. All right, how did I do this last time? <laughs> okay, so we went one step forward, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try that. We'll see if this. We'll see if this side can do that. And that is not. Is that the right thing? Okay. Hold on a second. We'll see if this matches up correctly or not. Nope. All right. Put that here. Demolish this one. See what happens. Okay. Not far enough. This one's a little different, so we're gonna make this, yeah, we're gonna try something else, okay. We'll make it work. It's always part of it, it's just trial and error, just learning how to do it, you know? But yes, I would challenge you, if you have never built something cool in Ark and you just don't feel like you can, just take a little time and play around with it, you know? Set it on creative mode, on single player, on a map that you don't play and just try some stuff and see if you can make something cool, just for fun, because you might be surprised. It might actually turn out a lot cooler than you expected. Did I just demo the wrong thing? I totally did. Just a happy little accident. It happens. All right. So that's not quite lining up where I want it either. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it, you know? We'll make this one I think we'll just stack these closer to each other. We'll also make it daytime so you guys can see what's going on here. <laughs> okay, try this one more time. We'll just put these close together. We're not being perfect here. That's okay not to be. There we go. All right, we'll just go with it. Okay, and then down here we also had three We'll go with that. And I think this thing is actually kind of taking shape a little bit. It's starting to look kind of cool. Now that we've got everything lined up how we want it, we can actually uh, go a lot faster. So just copy each side and then go with it. All right. Looks pretty good here. Yep, yep, okay. That's what we want. And then we'll do this side. And I think once we finish this tier, I am going to need to hop off because I am getting pretty tired. My voice is getting tired. But I've really had a great time hanging out with all of you guys. Like this has been, uh, this is actually shaping up a lot more than I expected. I was thinking I'll be happy if I can get uh, just the foundation laid on the first episode of our let's build a cathedral in the coral reef, you know? But uh, here we go, hold on a second. Let me try to get these cleared so we can see it a little better. I don't wanna close it, I wanna open the portholes. All right, how about this one? Yep. Might have to go swimming outside the other one. I'll leave the one in the middle so we can see where this all is. But I wanna be able to see better and look around. I've got to say, building S plus underwater bases is my new favorite thing. It just looks so cool to be inside the ocean. All right, let's get these guys open from top. So what happens a lot of times is uh, when you've got a bunch of these um, vacuum chambers around each other, they don't really know which one you're selecting. So it gets really, it gets really wonky. So, here we go. Okay, great. That doesn't block our view too much. We can walk around a little bit. So check it out. We've got uh, a pretty good start to our underwater cathedral. We've got a lot of cleaning up to do. We'll make things look a lot better. I'm gonna figure something to do with this grass that's poking through the floor and, uh, you know, but at least we finally covered up that obnoxious grid that was totally misaligned. So all of the people who are, uh, you know, who that bother can stop cringing. <laughs> you know, that's a really good idea. Yeah. I actually love to do that too, where like you go in creative mode and try building something before you use your resources. I don't know if it's going to come out with Ark Survival Ascended, but at least with Ark 2, they're planning on doing a blueprint feature. And it sounds like what that's going to mean is... If I were to have that feature right now, I'd be able to save a blueprint of this that I've built so far. And then 
actually be able to share that with other people so that you guys would be able to make a blueprint for this anywhere you want to build it and it would show you where to place each structure and that way you could build your own base that's just like that. So not 100% guarantee that's how it's going to work, but that is how it sounds. And that'll be pretty dang cool if that's what actually happens. That is really what I'm hoping. Krabbytron, how are you doing? You are always the monarch that hops online when I'm still awake, right? <laughs> it has been way too long. What is up? I was actually just about to end the stream, but now I've got to say hi to Krabbytron. Everybody say hi. So I have missed you guys. I have been watching. Yeah, oh, man. I have been watching all of your videos and really enjoying them. And, uh, you know, I I can't actually stream or, or do any arc when I'm able to do that. But I've been actually just really enjoying all of the, all the cool stuff you guys have been doing. Yeah, yeah, I have been good but busy, too. <laughs> Finally, things are like a normal level of busy to where I can actually hop and do a little stream here and there. So hopefully you guys will be seeing me like at least weekly. That is the plan, or at least somewhat often. I'm going to try to do more live streams because that's what uh, that's what I can I can manage to uh, squeeze into my schedule right now. Well, thank you, Krabby. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the new job. It's been really good, really good. And I've finally got things caught up enough where the office is running really smoothly. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, that's helping me have a little free time to be able to, uh, you know, get back to doing some arc. So that's been that's been great. I've been working hard to catch up to do that. So but yeah, I really miss Monarchy, though, and I'm, I'm loving all the cool stuff you guys have going on the new server. It looks amazing. And uh, man, I'm so jealous of the uh, the economy system and the job system like those. are It's just like everything that I love. So here's hoping when I catch up enough and hopefully get to join you guys again soon. Here's hoping we still have some of those fun mods that I can try. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, thanks. It's uh, it's coming. It's it's uh, coming along a little bit. It's still got a ways to go. So these underwater builds using these vacuum chambers take a lot longer because you've got to do some crazy stuff to make this work. So the entire thing is built on vacuum chambers and uh, it's going to be inside vacuum chambers, too. So we'll be able to uh, We'll be able to walk around and breathe and see everything in beautiful color, so. Oh, really? That's such a bummer. So you had to scrap the um, the mod that gives you all the professions and stuff because of the lag? Oh. Well, here's hoping they have something like that on Ark Survival Ascended because it sounds like they're doing a lot to improve lag on Survival Ascended. So we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. I'm looking forward to it. But <laughs> yeah, well, guys, I wish I could stay longer. I really do. Um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to start streaming earlier next time at a much more reasonable hour when a lot more of you guys will be awake. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah. That, yeah. If you've got too much lag, it doesn't matter how fun the mods are. Too much lag makes everything not fun. <laughs> so I do totally understand. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I do love hosting competitive events, man. That, that, that how to train your dragon sheep launcher was probably my favorite event. Although Space Kit Ball was pretty fun, too. I liked that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's so good to see you, too, Krabby. And really, all of you that are watching, it's so good to see all of you. And, you know, if you've been watching and haven't made a comment, you should totally drop a comment real quick and let me know who's here, because I have really missed hanging out with you guys and chatting. And we're going to have to wrap it up and hop offline in a second, but... Oh, yeah, I totally understand. I haven't put out very many videos in a while, but it's good to see you back. Yeah, anybody that's new, our Monarchy series is amazing. You should check out all the people in the Monarchy. 
And uh, if you missed my first couple seasons, they're pretty fun to go back and watch if you want something fun to watch. But uh, yeah, it's great to see all of the new people and all of the people who have been with this channel for such a long time. And I have really missed all of you. I really have. And I will keep you guys posted. I'll try to actually post something on my channel when I know when I'll be able to stream next because... Today was just, uh, hey, I can actually stream. So I jumped on and streamed. But we'll hopefully make this a more regular thing soon. And I am working on getting a new computer, which will be able to run much better than my six-year-old Alienware laptop, which is actually amazing that it's still doing this well after six years and being a laptop. I've got to give it praise where praise is due. But I am working on getting a uh, setup that's going to look way better and be ready for Ark Survival Ascended. So, but you guys, it's so good to see you all. And I hate to have to go, but I will be back in the near future. If you guys enjoyed this stream, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you watch this days later, it's really appreciate having you guys here, especially all of you who watched the whole stream. And I hope you all have a really great night and we will see you in the next video.